G'day, Steve from OffTheGridNoz.com Just a Sunday morning, you know, first, what, second day of November Bit of an update, want to cover a few things Yeah Don't come around here no more Bit of an update For all those people that are interested Had a couple of questions about the still Yeah, it's a still day today, check that out I did split the, the condensation coil pot, that's the one that does that stuff. Put cold water through it on hot run, split it, put a, a plastic bucket on it. You can see the fittings, all I did was took the fittings out of it, transferred it into a 15 litre plucky bucket, does the job well and actually with more cooling water it doesn't get warm as quick. But the old Chinese still, she's still bumming along. I've done more runs than I care to actually admit to. So that was the only real biggie. I'm still using the flower paste to seal the lids up. The seals on these, uh, that one's actually doing well. The thumper is doing well. That one I have to use the paste on. But yeah, I did split the condensation pot by running cold water through it when it was stink hot, which was a really big mistake. But yeah, that's just the still, yeah, it's Sunday morning, I'm doing a still run. Listening to a bit of Tom Petty, you know, that's the way it goes. Hope your off-grid journey is sort of working out for you. It all gets hard, all the plants are actually doing some weird shit. Now, I don't know whether this is applicable or whether anyone else has noticed it, but all the plants seem to be going to seed, which is really, really weird. You know, I can't quite get that. I've even got, I put about 50 seedlings in. Filled up the hydro and stuff. You know, all the hydros, all the new lettuce and celery and stuff. I've got celery in buckets. I put about 50 in. But some of them are actually going to seed. So I've got about 30 there. And I'm going to leave them out for a little while. Just to let the weather settle. The weather seems to be setting things off. The tomatoes are going real well. Look at these tomatoes. I put them in early, they did flower though, so I can't quite figure out what's going on with that. Tomato Alley, they're going okay. But yeah, the plants are doing some weird shit, I think because of the weather. So I can't figure that one out. But yeah, I think today's video really should be a little bit of inspiration, you know. I know a lot of people are still struggling to kick off their off-grid journey. You've really got to stick to the fucking plan, you know? Actually, I, was, I turned the TV on the other night, on a quick note, and they were swearing. I watched some stupid bloody love show, some Love Island or some damn thing, and they were swearing. They were using the F word. So I'm not worried about the F word, so fuck that. <laughs> now look at the bloody, these citrus. They were all bloody going good. I, I must have chewed out on that that tree over there, I must have eaten about 40 friggin' mandarins off that. But what they're all doing is losing their leaves early, so anyone that's got any fucking clues on that, I'd be really, really keen to know what the hell's going on with that. But apart from that, hey, check the, check the latest tiny out. How's that little sucker? How many windows can you fit in a tiny? Hasn't got the roof on, hasn't got the flashings or gutters on it yet. But we're just about ready, we'll ship that one out probably at the end of the week. Got another one up there behind it, and that's going out. Even shipping a, a kit, a trailer and a kit out to Tasmania next week. But yeah, and I might as well do it. Look at that. I put the second super on. I got one beehive there that's absolutely out of control. A couple that are under control, but that one is absolutely out of control. And now I put two supers on it. The bees are happy as pig and shit. But yeah, so yeah, I'm not quite sure what's going on with the weather. Everything else and from offthegridnoz.com is actually going pretty good. You know, a lot of people were sort of interested as to whether off the grid noz would actually keep going. Well, to say, oh, an ad, an ad. You gotta hate it. Sunday morning, doing a still run, working out in the garden. Got my partner inside, actually doing a bit of house pointing, would you please? <laughs> That's a bit of a cracker. I'm not real good with that. I normally clean my own place. But yeah, I hope your your sort of journey is going okay. And I've had a few 
I actually made a few phone calls this week talking to people about their, you know, their bits and pieces and at the end of the day you've just got to sort of hang in there, you know. You just never know what's going to happen. Things can look grim, you know, people around you can be negative, people can throw some, you know, weird shit at you. You've really just got to hang in there, guys. And then you wind up doing what I do, which is this repetitive... Uh, actually, it is repetitive, because, I mean, whether you're off-grid or on-grid, life is sort of repetitive. You can't get around that. Jess is flat out. Jess! Yes, Jess is flat out. But yeah, you do have to stick to the plan. I keep saying it over and over and over. There's no way of getting around that. You know? If you don't stick to the plan, you won't get that build done, you won't get that garden in. Even though the plants are doing some weird shit, I'm still, oh, I've still got, you know, seedlings there, I'm going to throw them in. But yeah, I don't know, Sunday morning, had a lovely sacky night, lots of music, bit of dancing actually. Yeah, Steve from OffTheGridNoz.com was dancing. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a whole nother story. But life's good. I'm, I had a question about the EPS panels. And I know this is a pretty mixed up video actually. And a bit of still, a bit of tiny house stuff. The tiny house stuff is really, really busy. I can't, I can't begin to thank everybody that has inquired and bought from us. I mean, I, I seriously, my life is, is fucking charmed. And that's seriously, you know, for anyone that's been following a few of the hiccups that have been happening around here, my life is absolutely charmed, you know. I suppose I should leave it at that. Got a little bit of a still update, a little bit of a tiny house update. I don't mind if any of you guys that watch these want to give me a phone call. I might be able to help. There's no fucking rocket scientist here, but I might be able to help. And I'm really happy with that black hole sun. <laughs> That's Sunday. It's a bit gloomy, actually. It was really warm. The last few days have been like up around the 35 degrees. But yeah, garden's going good. Tiny house business going good. Bees are running amok. Having a good time. Life is good. Hope your life is good. I'm not going to leave it at that, and I'll just call this another boring, bloody update. But yeah, Steve's still here. Hope your life is good. Feel free to give me a phone call, drop me a message, whatever you want. YouTube channel is actually pretty busy, really, which is a really nice thing. I love all you guys. I, I can't emphasize that enough. If you stick it out, stick with the plan, you'll get there. Maybe you won't be quite as bloody, you know, drifted, drifted off the, cha off the, off the planet like me where I make videos and stuff, but you'll get your life together, you know. I, I see people posting up all this sort of stuff about positivity and stuff. Well, positivity takes action. Really takes action. I'm going to leave it at that. Cheers from Steve and Jess and the cat and the chooks from offthegridandoz.com <laughs> and my partner inside cleaning the house. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. <laughs> anyway, let's like thank everyone. Just say, life is good. Keep thinking positive. Bring all your plans to fruition, guys. And I will make a video. I nearly made one about solar panels and stuff the other day, but at the end of the day, I think a lot of, what a lot of people need to see, even though I only call them update, updates, is that um, some people that are already off-grid, that search the off-grid stuff, like our channel and lots of other channels, I think they need to see that we actually do survive and thrive. I think that's the, the, the key for t this morning's thinking. Apart from running the still. But, and don't ever run a still because that's illegal. But yeah, I think a lot of people I do the updates for just want to see that, you know, years and years later, hey, boring old Steve from OffTheGridNoz.com and his dog and cat and chooks. Well, we're still here, so it's a good thing. Life is good, and I'll leave it at that. November update. Have a good one, guys. We'll catch you on the next one.